Soldiers of honor have a rule. No one gets left behind. Yadi! But for Daniel Takayatsu, it's not just a rule. It's the rule. No matter how fierce the enemy, how overwhelming the numbers, how dark the day, he's there to make good on a promise. Everyone home. A man's whole life is nothing but one moment after another. to save the day. Halima Zambadi grew up with the finest things in life. But when that life was taken away, she discovered something richer than wine and gold. To Halima, freedom used to be doing as she pleased. Now, freedom means doing what is right. Sometimes you're the hunter. Solange Hardwick was an excellent sprinter. She was also excellent at physics, best in her class. She had the perfect life as a student. So perfect that she caught the attention of people that could use her talents. As soon as the war's over, she'll be back. Or so they said.
Shigenori Ota was once a servant to the shackles of tyranny. One night, he chose to fight back. Since then, his struggle has never stopped. from his family and force a gun in his hand. Who you think he's gonna point it at first? Roland Simon was just conscripted meat for the grinder. Loyal by threat, not choice. Threaten the man's family, you bind him with fear, but kill all he loves. That fear comes rage. Lucas Riggs is always up for a challenge. Keep pushing! Someone threatens everything you love. You have a choice. Will you bend and yield, or will you rise and stand? Beatrice Mercier made her choice the day she saw her people suffer. Because to live a life of fear is no life at all. side with his soldiers, his reign defined by courage. Leadership and loyalty sustain each other, each relying on the other's sacrifice. A covenant forged in trust and strengthened by empathy. Like a true monarch, Arthur Kingsley doesn't rule, he leads.
Constance Muller lived a life fashioned by the Reich until she decided on some alterations. You can't change your past, but you can choose how it molds you. Chisel, an artist, can shape the future. Colonizers spill enough blood to plant their flag, and then wonder why the Tree of Liberty gets a thirst for the stuff. Padmavati Balan despised oppressors and their yoke on her people. Did have a knack for irony. Oh! 